Uh, Jason Barnett. Um, Jason's the uh, information exchange broker uh, for the Mid Atlantic area for the High Phelps of the Regions uh, office uh, that works for Booz Allen Hamilton as the contractor for that program. Works for the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, Jason's been working on this job for the last five years. Uh, he's a graduate of Old Dominion University and with a Bachelor of Science in Geography. And he's planning to do a Master's in Agriculture from Iowa State University coming up. So Jason, thank you. Well, like Craig said, my name is Jason Barnett, and uh, I work with Booz Allen Hamilton, but we support the Homeland Infrastructure Foundation Level Data Working Group, also known as the Highfield Working Group. Uh, pretty much Highfield is about 4,600, a little over 4,600 contributing partners, as you can see from the slide, all across the federal government, state government, local government, and then there's some private industry uh, partners as well. Uh, four of the official members of the Highfield Working Group are the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, and the Department of Homeland Security, their Information uh, Infrastructure Collection Division, IICD. And within the Department of Defense, you also have the Office of Assistant Secretary of Defense for Homeland Defense and America Security Affairs, OISDHDASA, and then the USGS and their uh, National Geospatial Program Office. And those make up the four uh, official members of the Highfield Working Group, and as I mentioned, you can see all the executive departments and agencies in the state of representation, and this is just a small smattering of, of logos. What I would encourage you guys to do is to, is to go home um, and uh, check out, I should continue that sentence, I'm not encouraging you to go home now. Um, I encourage you guys when you go home to YouTube uh, the HSIP program with the HSIP video. It's about an eight minute video. It gives a good overview of the HSIP data, uh, the Homeland Security Infrastructure Program. Um, that way I, I can't give as much of an in-depth presentation on it right now. But it'll give you a good overview on a lot of the data resources that are available uh, at the federal, state, and local level um, through the HSIP program. But just to kind of hit on it real quick, the uh, HSIP is the Homeland Security Infrastructure Program. Uh, it's pretty much the data product that comes out of the Highfield Working Group. What happened was back in 2002, uh, there was this need for a foundational data set to be used all across the federal government for web mapping applications, for uh, any kind of derivative products, uh, maps that were made, all within the Homeland Defense, Homeland Security, and Emergency Management communities, uh, which uh, that has a pretty large umbrella nowadays. A lot of people can just have admissions to, to one of those communities. So they came out with the, uh, the HSIP, which is about, currently in 2012, it's a little over 450, 470, I think it might be more than that now, uh, vector data layers that's provided on uh, 5D set uh, for free uh, to federal agencies and then also to certain uh, state and locals uh, based on license requirements. Uh, with that, you also have LIDAR imagery and uh, LIDAR and just aerial imagery, uh, which NGA works in front of Yes, to provide this um, over the 150 <coughs> cities. But to kind of go a little bit more into HSIP Gold, uh, you have HSIP Gold and then you also have uh, HSIP Freedom. HSIP Gold is a, is a compilation of federally provided data sets. For example, say like Army Corps of Engineers, you may have the DAMS uh, data set. And then HSIP Free, uh, and, I'm sorry, so it's HSIP uh, Gold is your federally provided data sets and also commercially uh, provided data sets. And then you have HSIP Freedom, which is pretty much just the uh, federally provided data sets, which is still over 200 different uh, data layers of infrastructure all throughout the United States. HSIP Freedom is really what I want to stress to all of you. Um, it's available to all of you guys uh, to use if you're within the Homeland Defense, Homeland Security, and Emergency Management community. Uh, it's not there to replace the data sets uh, because we know state, local, uh, data is always always better than at a, at a national level. But it's there to serve more as a supplement. It's looking at infrastructure data all across the nation, data that's outside your jurisdiction, um, just across the border, what have you, uh, that might be able to fill some of the points. It also serves as a library of infra data you may not know had existed beforehand. Um, but to get HSEP Gold, there are a few different licensing. Like I said before, it was originally just available to federal government uh, use. 
But now, when there's a presidential uh, declaration for disaster in the state, um, the state and local governments can request each zip code under that presidential, de presidential declaration. Uh, West Virginia has uh, several presidential declarations still standing uh, on the FEMA website, so you can request the data under that. The, the caveat is that you can only use it in response to that uh, actual event. But we try to encourage people to request it anyway so you can see the data and get familiar with it. So if there's another presidential declaration, you can just put the form in and already have the data and be able to use it. Uh, you can actually view and pull it in as web service, uh, H2 Gold. Um, there's some small credentialing you have to do, but you can pull it in if you want to view it that direction as well. Um, as different types of web services. Each web service has a different um, access and use constraints, depending on if it's a WFS or WMS, um, which you just have to agree to. The last way is uh, if you were part of the State Fusion Center, Emergency Operations Centers for the State, State GIS co uh, Coordinators, State National Guard Joint Operations Centers, as well as State Emergency Management Coordination, uh, you can request what's called the NAVTEC data set. Uh, as I previously mentioned, HTIP Gold uh, had some of that commercially bought data set. Part of that commercially bought data set is NAVTEC uh, data. That is available to um, anybody who works within those five that I had mentioned off. So if you have that NAVTEC data set and you also download the HTIP Freedom, you almost have all of HTIP Gold that you could use for your everyday uh, uh, mission within the Homeland Defense, Homeland Security, and Emergency Management. I know I'm throwing a lot of different uh, things at you guys really quickly, but if you go and visit the Highfield uh, website, hifldwg.org, uh, you can request an account on there. You can learn all about HSIP Gold and HSIP Freedom. That's where you actually make requests for HSIP Gold with Navtech, tell you how to get a hold of HSIP Freedom. Um, the data lists are there. You just want to see an Excel spreadsheet of what data is available, um, as well as all the different meetings and such that are going on. Um, with that, I fear everything at you guys. If you have any questions or anything, please just uh, shoot me an email. Uh, I can explain it all to you guys. There's a uh, regional GIS group within the Mid Atlantic as well that, uh, that we uh, have started up a partnership with FEMA uh, to work on just kind of collaborating and spreading communication with the GIS community within the Mid Atlantic. Uh, we get presentations from uh, various states um, on all kinds of work projects they're working on just to kind of the awareness of what's going on around our Atlantic region. So with that, thank you very much.